In this short and easy guide, I'll explain you how to configure OpenVPN in PFSense. So first of all, before going to VPN, you have to create the server certificate. Before configuring OpenVPN, you will simply go here to system and go to certificates. I have already created a certificate authority. Certificate authority will be a certificate provider. And you don't need to have an external certificate provider because here you are creating a private a network. So you need to have your own certificate authority. So here I have already created, but I'll show you how you can create it. The first step is to create the authorities and click add. Here you will create a certificate authority. For example, I will say Amjad certificate authority CA. So here will be internal certificate authority. I leave all of these default. Here you have to choose the country code. For example, I am living in Oman. So I will type OM. Here you will type state, uh, the city and uh, organization. So simply you will click save. The moment you click save, so your certificate authority will be created. So as I have created SyncBricks CA. Now the certificate authority is created. You have to now create the certificate. Click the certificate and I will create server certificate here. Add and sign a certificate, create internal certificate. So you are creating your own internal certificate. You will give it a name, for example, it will be PFSense Server Certificate. Certificate authority here is SyncBrick CA, which we created by ourselves in the first step. And then you will leave all these things default. You don't need to make any changes. Here the certificate type, you will go to server certificate. This is not a user certificate. This is a server certificate. Only this you have to change. So we'll not do anything. We'll just click on save. The moment you save it, your certificate will be saved the way, in fact, I have created the SyncBricks cert. If I show you here, edit. So this is the certificate right now. You don't need to make any changes to this. So certificate will be ready. Then what you have to do, you have to go to the VPN and click on open VPN. Right now I have already configured, but I'll show you how you can do it. You will click on add. And here you will give a name. For example, I'll create home lab VPN server. You can give any name. And here down, you will go here server mode. This is not peer to peer. I will choose here down remote access user authentication. So the user will be client. So I'll click remote access users. What will be the backend for authentication? I have the local database only, which is stored inside the server. I'll show you that down here. You will go protocol protocol will be UDP on IPv4 only. You have to choose this one. And what will be the interface interface will be WAN because the WAN interface will be used to connect to the VPN server. Then is the local port by default. It will show you 1194. You can use any of your choice. And then down here, it will automatically detect the certificate authority, which is SyncBrick CA. We already created that. So server certificate, which you created in the first step, you will select that certificate over here. Server certificate, encryption and all these things you will leave default. Depth, it is one certificate client server. This is fine. We won't use multiple certificates. Here is the IPV tunnel network. What does this mean? This is the network that you will be providing to the clients who will be connecting to OpenVPN. Now, whenever any client, any device is connecting to your server, that device will be getting the IP address. So what range you want to have? I gave earlier 192.168.250.0. I have 240.0 on my network. I can give any range. It can be even 5.0 slash 24. I want to use 24 bit for the network. And down here, IPv6 tunnel network. I won't be using this. Here is redirect IPv4 gateway. I won't redirect the IPv4 gateway, which means that the VPN client will use its own gateway, which is fine. So once the VPN client will be connecting, which network they should be able to access? So I'll be providing those networks here. For example, I want them to access my network. And you can see here my private IP for my network is 192.168.240.1. So I'll be saying yes, 192.168.240.0 slash 24. So I want them to access this network. If you have multiple networks, you can put the comma and you can add those networks. So how many concurrent connections you want to allow to a specific user? 
for example i'll be using the same user certificate or same user authentication for laptop for smartphone and maybe for some other device so i'll be saying for example three concurrent connections and allow compression use this as default do not change anything and here client setting and client as i mentioned that we have provided this ip range here and we want the client to get dynamically the ip address once they are connected to of course the vpn dynamically assign the ip address i will allow them this is fine you don't need to make any changes here here is dns server enable once they get the ip address dynamically so they will be getting the dns also you can give any dns i will be using cloudflare and google dns you can use your own local dns also to make sure that if you have defined any dns configuration in pfsense so they will also get the local dns and rest of all these things i will leave blank these are the additional configuration for example push route gateway creation i will leave this default now once you have done this you will save it this was the second step after certificates you created this server everything is fine here all the networks you can see here vpn configuration dns configuration and here if you go up uh, exposed networks i have exposed these two networks and this is the ip tunnel network for my existing configuration and so on once you have done this the next step is to create the firewall rule we want to allow clients to access to this particular vpn server now the vpn server is created if i click on server again you will see here that it will be listening to port 1194 of udp of this particular server which is 192.168.240.1 and this is the this server so what we'll do we'll go here to firewall and we'll go to rules and the rule that i have created is this firewall self and i'll show you that the rule which we have created to accept the connection i am accepting the connection from van and it will be protocol will be tcp udp usually it should be udp only but i have created tcp udp both and source will be any from any network i want to accept uh, the traffic and on which server to this particular firewall but on which port port is 1194 which is open vpn so you will choose from here you can add the description and simply save it the moment this firewall rule is created now your firewall will be able to access the traffic from the internet on this particular port this is done here now what you are going to do you are going to create the user so that the user will be able to access uh, the server server is able to accept the connection and if you go into status here and in status if you go down to open vpn you will see here that open vpn server is active right now but there is no client connected here you can see there is no client connected now and if you go to status and services in services you will see there are many services running right now and one of the services open vpn server and which is running right now and status is okay so great our server is configured now we need to create the client now so that we will be able to connect to this particular server so i'll go here to system and i'll go to user and you will create a new user i created a group uh, which is open vpn users uh, it is up to you you can uh, you don't need to create the group you can create one specific user uh, which will be having for example i will say uh, ali and i'll create the password and this will be amjad ali macbook and expiration i leave blank so it will never expire here you can see group membership uh, which membership you want to give you can move it here and admin will be having access and here click to create user certificate in case you want to create the certificate we won't be doing that and save it here all right so now this ali is admin so now user is created server is configured now the next step is that i want to get this user's configuration or send this user's configuration to the person who has to access to uh, this particular network using the vpn tunnel uh, so here what we need to do if you go here to vpn and open vpn you will see here client export option is here but this client export option may not be available to you by default the reason is because this is a package that needs to be installed and i'll show you how you can do that you will go into system and in system you will go down here to 
package manager here you can see export pre-configured open vpn client so you can just look for available packages of course the package is already installed so i won't be getting that you need to search open vpn client export you need to install this package once you install this package you will come here to vpn open vpn and here you will click on client export the moment you click client export you will see here host name resolution will be interface ip address you have to define your own host name for example if it is my server.syncbricks.com or i can have maybe the public ip or even if you have dyne dns whatever dyne dns you have for example amjad.dynedns.net or if you have no ip and so on so you will choose that i will for the time being i will use interface ip address and uh, i will show you that the configuration can also be changed so if you go down here you can see configuration is available here so i will be downloading the configuration from here so it will be downloading the configuration and that configuration will contain the server configuration and then we can of course type the user id and password which we created here so we created the users inside the users section so the users are already created now we are ready to download the configuration there are various options that you can use to download the configuration one is that you can only download the configuration which will download an open vpn or ovpn file which is called a configuration file that can be imported to any open vpn client but if you want to only install a windows installer or mac os so you will be downloading that but the best way is inline configuration because it gives you the flexibility i will be downloading the most client inline configuration it will download an ovpn file you can see here ovpn file my vpn config now what we need to do we need to download the software uh, which is open vpn client uh, we can we could do it from here but i i want to give you the flexibility so we'll be downloading open vpn client download so you can see here openvpn.net this is of course the reliable website this is for windows 7 8 and 11 we'll go into apps and we'll click on mac os and download open vpn connect for mac we'll download this here the package is downloaded we'll just install this this is uh, m2 so m2 in the mac os is this one you can of course install it on any client we'll run the wizard license agreement agree we install for all the users on this computer package has been installed that's it i will open here from the applications open vpn if i download directly from open vpn server or my pfsense i could download directly the package here so which will download the package and configuration together but i didn't want to have that i wanted to have the full control i will be simply clicking on upload profile here ovpn extension file should be there and we already had that ovpn in my config you can see here this is my vpn config.ovpn i will go here to the open vpn connect upload file browse for the file my config and here you go all right so right now it shows me this is the server but i will show you how we can change that so this is my home network i will use my user id the one which we created just now save the password i will type the password here and connect here you can see it has connected and if i go back to the open vpn i will just simply go here to status and here if i go to open vpn you will see that one client ali is connected right now and this is the traffic which has been passed so i can simply now access all the devices on my network with the help of uh, open vpn client which is connected right now so vpn is connected now your question might be of course that uh, the this has connected using the uh, ip address because while downloading while we were into the server export or if i go here to open vpn so i went here to client export and i mentioned here that the host name resolution will be interface ip address interface ip address should not be there of course we should have chosen the host name or the wan ip but don't worry if you have chosen for the testing purpose if you have chosen the interface ip you can go into configuration and you can change that also i'll just show you how we can change it if you are running visual studio 
code or any other editor all right so i have just installed the visual studio code i'll be able to edit that file now i will be able to open the configuration down here you can see remote this remote is the ip address of my wan interface so i can change this i can change even the port if i change the port from the server and here you can see authentication is user type and remote certificate is tls server so i can change the ip address of this from here for example if i if i know my public ip so i will type the public ip otherwise if i know my dyne dns so i can create the dyne dns here for example my home dot dyne dns dot org or dyne dns dot net or i have for example uh, no ip dot uh, com whatever i have or if i have my own dns which is my dns dot syncpricks.com for example the way i configure it so it will be here so the moment you change it save the file uh, suppose i will just save this file now and same way you will just import the file browse it so it will get the new configuration here and simply you will come here and connect to the open vpn here you can see i am now connected to my server with the new configuration click here on open vpn status you will see here that the client is configured so this is the client ip address and this is the virtual ip address from my device now i'll be able to access any device on the network because in pfsense i have created a firewall rule so if source address is 192.168.250.0 slash 24 so any vpn client wants to access anything on any network they will be allowed so this is the firewall rule that i have created another rule i created in the van where i allowed the traffic to the open vpn to this server on this particular port so that is the reason user is able to connect using the open vpn client so this was all about open vpn uh, server configuration of course there is a lot there is a lot of uh, scenarios that you can use the open vpn for or the vpn for so i'll be covering all of these ipsec l2tp and open vpn how you can have the site to site vpn if i go here to vpn and uh, open vpn right now you can see one server is there there is no client in fact if there are other sites also who want to connect to this particular site so site to site vpn is also possible user to site vpn is also possible and there is a lot that you can do with pfsense using open vpn so let us continue to next video and understand all other aspects related to pfsense